Hi, I'm Chris Frame and welcome back to my channel. Thank you to everyone who's reached out over the last few weeks. I've been getting lots of questions on my Instagram, Twitter and Facebook pages about the state of cruising in Australia, particularly with so many international ships having been based in Australian waters throughout the early parts of 2020. So I wanted to make this short video to help clarify what's going on in this part of the world. With people across the globe in various forms of mandatory lockdown, cruise ships are being laid up around the world. And popular cruise ports such as Miami, Fort Lauderdale and Southampton are now full of static cruise ships. But Australia's ports are noticeably empty of cruise ships, following a nationwide eviction of cruise vessels from Australian ports. In mid-March, the Australian government banned cruise ships across the nation. This ban was announced at the same time as the Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison instructed all travellers arriving into Australia to enter into a mandatory 14-day isolation period. On the 1st of April, the situation escalated when, in an unprecedented move, the New South Wales Police, who have jurisdiction over Sydney's cruise ports, ordered the P&O Australia's Pacific Explorer to leave the harbour. In response, P&O Australia's President, Strew Miramel, released a video statement expressing his disappointment and dismay, highlighting that P&O employs many Australians and that they're the only line to have been permanently based in Australia. He went on to say, P&O ships have been the backbone of cruising in Australia, taking half a million Aussies on cruise holidays each year. There is no illness on Pacific Explorer. It is unprecedented for Australia's homegrown cruise line to be ordered to leave Australia. P&O is the only cruise line in the world to have its head office in Australia. For those of you who are interested, I've linked the full video from P&O Cruises in the description below. Pacific Explorer is by no means the only Australian-based cruise ship to be caught in limbo. P&O's Pacific Aria, which has been based in Australian waters since 2015, recently left Melbourne with her scheduled destination listed as Jakarta. While Pacific Dawn, a ship that has been based permanently here since 2007, is now slowly sailing up the coast of Australia heading for the Bismarck Sea near Papua New Guinea. The 85,000 tonne Carnival Cruise Line ship Carnival Spirit has been a popular local cruise option for Aussies since her maiden season in 2012. Throughout March, the ship has been at anchor off Gladstone in Queensland and is expected to leave local waters in the coming days. Cunard's Queen Elizabeth is among the more famous international cruise ships to be based in Australian waters, having arrived down under in December 2019. The ship was scheduled to commence a circumnavigation of Australia in April, the first time the ship would circle the continent. However, at the conclusion of her 15 March Tasmanian voyage, Queen Elizabeth was temporarily withdrawn from service as Cunard entered into a voluntary cruising pause. In the weeks since, the ship has spent much of her time at anchor off Gladstone in the company of other Carnival Corporation ships. In early April, the ship made a brief visit to Brisbane, where she was refuelled before sailing northbound. While it is expected that she will head towards Asia, her exact destination is not yet known. Queen Elizabeth is sailing with only her crew on board and no one on board has any medical concerns. Cruise ships have been a challenge for governments around the country. In New South Wales, the Ruby Princess is at the centre of a criminal investigation, while in Western Australia, the cruise ship Artania has been the topic of controversy due to a number of unwell passengers and crew on board the ship. The cruise industry has been an important part of the Australian economy for many years with Australia's CLIA estimating that cruising added 5.2 billion Australian dollars to the Australian economy, thanks to 3.5 million total passenger visits per year. With cruise ships being effectively evicted from Australian waters, it remains to be seen what long-term impact this will have on cruising in Australia once the current crisis passes. Thanks so much for watching, and if you did find the video interesting, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you're interested in ocean liner history, why not check out my tour of the world famous QE2? And if you're interested in updates about other cruise ships and what's going on around the world, check out my cruise news playlist. Thanks again for watching and until next time, I hope to see you on board.